Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with a mukbang and a horror movie and I'm getting ready to watch The Curse of La Llorona and eat some yummy breakfast. Hey guys, welcome back. I am so happy to be back with another mukbang in a horror movie, you guys. The Curse of La Llorona from the producers of The Conjuring Universe. I am so excited. I love this movie. When it came out, we saw it in the movie theater and oh my God, I loved it. As soon as it came out, I told David, babe, when this comes out on Blu-ray, I definitely want to get it. <laughs> So it says, a terrifying, timeless legend comes to life in the curse of La Llorona. She is the weeping woman and those who hear her death call in the night are doomed. She creeps in the shadows and preys on the children, desperate to replace her own. In 1970s Los Angeles, ignoring the eerie warning of a troubled mother suspected of child endangerment, a social worker and her own young kids are soon drawn into a frightening supernatural realm. Their only hope of surviving La Llorona's deadly wrath may be a dissolutioned priest and the mysticism he practices to keep evil at bay on the fringes where fear and faith collide. Ooh, y'all. This is a really good movie. This is rated R though, Violence and Terror. And it doesn't say how many minutes, but I'm sure it says it, but whatever. <laughs> no time for that. Anyway, you guys, how have you been? I've been doing a lot of ASMR mukbangs, eating shows, but I haven't done like mukbang in a horror movie in a few days. So I thought I'd do one today. I wanted to enjoy this movie with you guys. Unfortunately, obviously, it's a really recent new movie, so I cannot show clips. So I lowered it, you know, so my phone doesn't pick up the noise because sometimes YouTube gets a little uh, stupid about that. And when I did my mukbang with The Nun, uh, I had to mute out the background noise because it picked up noise from the movie and um, you know like it wouldn't it wouldn't the video wouldn't go through so I had to fix that so that I could be able to publish my video anyway I have my horror mug look at that all the classic monsters and I got some coffee mmm with sugar-free hazelnut creamer so what do i have keto pancake bacon strawberries and sugar-free log cabin syrup yummy people are always asking me for my recipe and i know i repeat it a lot but a lot of people are new to my channel so for the pancake it's keto pancake it's two eggs two ounces of cream cheese a one-fourth teaspoon of cinnamon and a little capful of vanilla extract and it is heavenly <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. Very good, you guys. <clears throat> so this movie is very creepy. Um I like that it's part of the Conjuring world. It all ties in with all the other movies. Somehow. Conjuring 1, Conjuring 2, Annabelle 1, Annabelle 2, The Nun, The Curse of La Llorona. They all tie in together somehow. Isn't that cool? So you guys, I know it seems that when I do these mukbangs, my food is repetitive. Pretty much, I've mentioned this before, pretty much from Sunday through Thursday, my meals are very simple, egg-based, because I do a lot of egg fasting with 18-hour intermittent fasting in between. And I only break the egg fast on Friday and Saturdays, where I'll eat more exciting meals. <laughs> So, 
Yeah, on Friday and Saturdays, I record more exciting mukbangs for you guys that are not always pancakes and eggs and, and bacon and, you know, breakfast food. <clears throat> mm. These strawberries taste so good with the syrup. Mm-mm-mm. I love my coffee. And I love my mug. <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't drank from my horror mug in a while. <laughs> um, one of my YouTube besties, Veronica Bryanton, sent that cup to me a while back. And I love it. She knows how much I love horror movies. And she is a huge horror fan like myself. So. <laughs> this movie's kind of sad though. You know, like, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. But, you know. The whole story behind it is just sad. But yeah, I mean, who hasn't heard about La Llorona, especially if you're Hispanic? It's like a old Mexican folklore tale, you know? <laughs> like a urban legend. I think every nationality has their own thing. When I was a kid, my parents would say, ooh, be careful, don't go over there, the coco's gonna get you. El coco, to us, at least to Cubans, is um, the boogeyman. <laughs> so every nationality, has their own different, you know, name for it, their own folklore tale. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the little girl in the movie is watching Scooby-Doo. Because <laughs> this is supposed to be based in the 70s. Fork. My plate is slanted, so my fork is like falling all over the place. <laughs> you guys, I grew up watching Scooby Doo. I used to love Scooby Doo. Oh my god. Well, I still do, but <laughs> when I was a kid, oh my god. That was my Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> See, I've liked spooky stuff since I was little. <laughs> You know what's ironic? <laughs> and David pointed it out to me, and I didn't really notice until he pointed it out to me. He's like, it's ironic that the girl that play the lady that plays the mom in this movie, she was in the Scooby Doo movie. She played Velma, the nerd. <laughs> and the little girl, her daughter, is sitting in the living room watching Scooby Doo. And you know, David's like, that's funny. <laughs> Mm. I'm done with my food. <clears throat> so there is more peace and quiet in my house now that the kids officially started school again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do miss them. But I needed the break, you guys. Three months of having them home. 
I thought I was gonna go insane, especially since they're all boys. It's every five minutes, they're hungry. Every five minutes, they wanna play something different because they're bored. I mean, like, thank God that they like school. You know, Jacob, my middle one, he loves school, so that, that's good. So now I just have the baby at home and he's gonna start daycare pretty soon uh, towards like the end of September, probably beginning of October. We already spoke to the school and they're gonna allow us to bring him to, uh, to daycare. They're doing a special exception for us because they've known us since my son Samuel, who is now 14, was a baby. So uh, since all my kids have gone to that school, um, they're gonna make an exception for us and because the baby doesn't really start up uh, pre-k till he's like four so he's still got one more year to go so he's three so um our school gives out vouchers for the government to pay for their schooling so it's awesome they go to a private school and we don't have to pay for their schooling the government does but uh for daycare is different you got to pay out of pocket and the principal from the school has known us for years and she knows at the moment we cannot afford to put the baby on daycare so that's why I you know stay at home mommy take care of them here but um since she's known us for so long she's gonna make an exception and kind of like squeeze the baby in there <laughs> so he's gonna start daycare pretty soon so I'm gonna have a lot of time in my hands um, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself but I'm definitely gonna make my time productive that's for sure <laughs> anyway <clears throat> oh my god there's a very creepy part on right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I can't show you guys, you know, YouTube rules, but definitely, you guys, definitely check out, if you haven't seen it, The Curse of La Llorona. This is a really good movie with quite a few good jump scares. I like movies like that. I like all the movies that come from the Conjuring universe. Thumbs up. <laughs> they are all amazing movies, and they're the type of movies that I like because they give you jump scares. Oh, and this one brings the DVD, it brings the Blu-ray, the digital code, and it also includes Spanish audio. So, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> we got this one at uh, Best Buy. This was actually my anniversary present that David surprised me with. Because <laughs> he knows I love horror movies. The way to my heart is through horror. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my coffee, finish watching my movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang and a horror movie. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And click in the description box below for a link to all my social media. And I will see you ghouls and goblins in my next video. Unpleasant dreams. <laughs>